Hello everyone, it's Dr. Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander, and here is your five minute tip for this week. So this week I'm going to show you brisk teaching. It is a Google Chrome extension that uses AI to do different things. Now this is just going to be an intro to it because we only have five minutes. So let's get started. So one of the things that brisk teaching will do is it will change the reading level of things that your students are reading. So if you don't see this little button when you first open stuff up, you can just come and click on the extension and notice it says, hey, this is probably in a grade, it's in English. So I'm going to say I want to make it a, a 12th grade reading assignment, change reading level. So what it's going to do is it's going to take that article and it's going to retype it in Google Docs in that grade level. This tool is a freemium so it's a free part and a paid part i'm only showing you the free stuff and i will stop generating just because we only have a certain amount of time so you can also do that with stuff that's already in a google doc so for example i want to change the level to let's say first grade and i want to make it in spanish so it's going to create that brand new document for me and it's going to go ahead and type it in that grade level in spanish and notice i have the original document there so I'm just going to stop generating that and we are going to move on. The next thing I want to show you is how to give feedback. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give myself a little space for feedback and I'm going to come here and click on give feedback. Now targeted is a paid thing. So you can say like this is a fourth grade or you know this is a 11th grade or whatever grade level this is. Or you can just leave it alone. It's kind of it's going to kind of tell you what grade level it is as well. But I'm not going to put anything for uh, to specify on. I'm just going to click brisket. And it's going to give me the glows and grows of this document. So it's reading it right now. And I was giving me my glows and grows. And when it's done, I can click insert. So I was just giving it a couple of more seconds. I'm going to click insert. And it's going to insert whatever my mouse was. How awesome is that? Yay. All right, so I have that. Then I can come here and write with Brisk and detect AI. So for detect AI, it's, you know, no AI detector is perfect. So it's just going to give you a little bit of we think this is what it is, right? And then the last thing I want to show you is how to write with it. So write with Brisk. When you come here and notice the ones that are locked are your paid ones. And then you have resource, exemplar, quiz, lesson plan, or something else that you can work with. So I'm going to ask it to create a resource. I'm going to put it in English, and I want it to uh, create a resource on, I just like to type the whole thing. You really don't have to. Um, on digital citizen. Goodness gracious. All right, brisket, and it's first grade. All right, so it's doing my resource. Do, 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 It's giving me some examples. Talking about cyberbullying. Having a conclusion. So this is the awesome part. So not only did I do that and notice that I can make it longer, less detail, more detail, translate, that kind of thing. But I can also come here and say, you know what? I want you to make a quiz about this resource. I'm going to keep it at fourth grade, first grade, multiple choice. I only want two questions just for time. And so now it's going to create a quiz on that resource. I mean, come on. So now I actually want um, an answer key. I don't know the answers for this. Make an answer key. So I can also come here and add to this as well. So I can do right with Briss. I want a quiz, a multiple choice. I'm going to change that to maybe short answer. Just one question on um, create a short response question for the resource. If I can spell, that would be great. And I'm going to put brisket and let's see. So it created a question number three for cyberbullying and there you go. Um, so there you go. Now, of course, I would move this up, right? Like I could just come here and cut that because I don't want it to be with the answer key. Um, so I can come here and kind of do that. But there you go. That is a very short introduction to the things that you can do with brisk teaching. Good luck.